developments tonight after a controversial cheer banquet awards ceremony. The district under fire is now making big changes. Our Suzanne Spencer joins us live outside the local ACLU office that threatened legal action against Kenosha Unified School District. Suzanne? This time last month, the ACLU sent a lengthy letter to KUSD demanding change after controversial awards were handed out at a cheerleading banquet. Awards given to young women at a Tremper High School cheerleading banquet with names like Big Booby, Big Booty, and the String Bean. It's double standard, and there shouldn't be. Girls should be treated the same as boys, and boys should be treated the same as girls. This KUSD mom was outraged when news broke about the cheerleading banquet, but doesn't want to show her face as her kids are both still in the district. My son's never been at an awards banquet where those kind of awards were given, and he's played sports. Um, all through school. In late February, the ACLU filed a letter saying the banquet was part of a culture of sexual harassment. On Monday, the district superintendent announced all administrators, principals, assistant principals, and supervisors underwent mandatory training to not tolerate actions that constitute student discrimination or harassment. It also laid out a new form and procedure for any school issued award. Mock awards won't be allowed, and any award must be submitted to a principal four weeks ahead and approved by that person and the chief of school leadership. In a statement, a spokeswoman said the district recognizes our obligation to provide students and staff an environment free of discrimination and harassment. It is our sincere hope that by outlining expectations and providing training to our staff, we can avoid further issues of any kind. Issues that this mom says are still apparent in the district. I mean, we should be a little bit more sensitive to what's happening and making sure our girls are treated the same way as our boys, and that's obviously not happening. The ACLU learned of these changes when we alerted them to it today, saying they were encouraged by these steps, but encouraged them to make some other changes, including more regular programming to ensure something like this doesn't happen again. Reporting outside the ACLU offices in Milwaukee, Suzanne Spencer, Fox 6 News. Suzanne, thank you.